Thank you, Father. Amen. <laughs> we are here again to the glory of God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, most precious, true, real, loving Father. Jesus must be honored. Must be honored. Must be honored. Jesus must be honored in my life every day. Jesus must be honored. Must be honored. Must be honored. Jesus must be honored in my life every day. Omega must be honored. Must be honored. Must be honored. Daddy must be honored in my life every day. Omega must be honored. Must be honored. Must be honored. Jesus must be honored in my life every day. Daddy must be honored, must be honored, must be honored. Jesus must be honored in my life every day. Jesus must be honored in your life every day, every minute, every second, every moment. Jesus must be honored in our lives every day. Daddy must be honored, must be honored, must be honored. Daddy must be honored in our life every day. Jesus must be honored in your life every day. You must be honored in my life every day. Every minute, every second, every hour, Jesus must be honored. Amen. We don't know when the flight will take off. The flight we had the sun have been loading for a long time. It has been loading. People are going in. Some people in are still coming out. Going out thinking it's not serious. Thinking it has started for a very long time. Can't I go and make it one way or the other way in the world? I still come in again. If you're already in the act, don't come out. If you're ready in the act, no matter what it is, your mates have achieved this in the world. This person have achieved this, this person have achieved this. Forget about it, they are not going anywhere with it. It will only end here upon the end. In their hardship as a soldier of Christ. They are getting it their way, they are getting it in a contrary way, they are getting it in a negative way. Don't join them. Don't join them to get it that way. Don't join them to get it in a wrong way. Don't join them to get it in a contrary way. No, you have gotten it this way. They told lies and got it. They committed fornication and got it. They gave bribe and got it. They killed and got it. They destroyed and got it. Don't join them. Don't join them. The little enjoyment you feel they are joining is only for here on earth. It's only for here on earth. It's only for here on earth. A born again child of God will travel abroad. He has a wife with two, three, four children here uh, uh, in his own country. He travels abroad and meets a lady. They go to court and they have a wedding there so that he will have his papers. And after some time, they have registered in the government of that city that they were married. And after some time, they divorced. He got his paper. Oh, what a clever boy. You can only be clever before men. You cannot be clever before God. When you deny it from men, you cannot deny it from God. In God's case, there is no appeal. When men do anything, you can appeal. But when it is matter of God, you cannot appeal. When God has said it, that is final. When God condemns you, you are condemned. When God has accepted you, no power can appeal to another higher power. For he's the highest of highest. He is the highest norm. He has the final say. When he has accepted you, you are finally accepted. Child of God, is your faith shaking? What you are seeing here, is he shaking you? What you are seeing on earth, is he getting too much for you? Relax. That's a better day. That's a better tomorrow. You only endure in affliction as a soldier of Christ. Don't worry, relax your mind. 
For great is the faithfulness of our God. For great is our King and our God. For great is the mighty man of valor. For great is the ancient of the days. For great is the God of holiness and righteousness. Unto the Lord be every glory. Dominion and thanksgiving unto the Lord be every worship of man. Unto the Lord be every excellence and adoration. For he is God, and the Bible told us that beside him there is no other God. We give him all the praise. We give him all the worship forever in Jesus' name. Unto the Lord be all the glory. Great things he has done. Unto Emmanuel. We are the glory, mighty things he has done. Unto our King and our God, unto our Father and our Lord, unto our Master and our confidence, we are the glory for the great things he has done. Shall we pray? Mighty man of our Lord, we give you praise and worship, we honor you. Hallelujah, dominion, adoration to your name. We want to hear the word. Let the word come forth with power, O Lord, mighty majesty. Every hardness in Allah be broken by the word of God. Father, let the light of the gospel so shine. Let the light of the gospel so shine. Let the light of the gospel so shine in our spirit, soul, and body. Let it so shine and flow. Let it so shine and move. And Christ then be honored, adored, and magnified. For unto the Lord, our King, our Lord, be all the glory in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Our dear loving Father, the Father of our Lord Jesus speak to us, O Lord. Help us to share this message. Help us to listen to this message, O Lord. And let the name of Christ be on our front the Lord be our the glory. In Jesus' wonderful name we pray. Thank you for the great answer. Be glorified, the Lord. In Jesus' wonderful name we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. God bless you. Thank you for sharing this message. Keep sharing the message and stay to the end of this message. God has a message for you. Invite a friend and tell them the time to speak life, the time to talk about life is here again. The time to expose their knowledge and the truth of the word of God is here again. So that we'll hear the word of life and word of God with clarity and evidence. With clarity and evidence. And Christ must be honored in the name of Jesus. We give God all the praise, adoration, and thanksgiving. We begin to bless him. Thank you, Father, for all you've done in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, and amen. God bless you. Good evening, everywhere you are. Good morning and good afternoon, depending where you are, in any part of the world. God, the keeper, will keep you. God, the protector, will protect you. God, the preserver, will preserve you. I decree that it shall be well with you. May you see happy better days as the goodness of the Lord walk upon your life. May you be not only the hearer of the word alone, may you be doer of the word. As you hear the word, may God give you grace to do the word, to live by the word, to walk by the word, to stand by the word. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. What a loving father we have. What a mighty man of valor we have. Remember, we're talking about things that cause you setback. How can somebody be going on, progressively moving? All of a sudden, the person sees himself backwards again. Now, what is happening? Most funny thing that most people will get back and they will not rise again. They get back and they remain down and down and down. No, 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 no. As you hear the word of God today, you're going to hear the word of life and word of power, and the Lord God Almighty will strengthen you and help you. And Christ alone shall be glorified in the name of Jesus Christ. No, he performed against you shall prosper. The Lord is talking to somebody who is listening to me. The Lord said, give me all your head, for I am fighting your battle. He said, as many that have been plotting against you, I am the one who have been quenching their power, who have been quenching their forces and influences. He said, my daughter, give me all your head. Serve me and worship me. I am so good to you. I know you love me. I want you to come closer to me again. They have plot a lot against you, but I will keep on disconnecting them, says the Spirit of the Lord. So God is your fighter. God is the fighter of your battles. So you are not alone. You might be feeling lonely, you are not alone. You might feel weak, but you are not weak. You might feel fearful, but God said, fear thou not. I am there for you. God is fighting your battles for you. What the devil intended will never happen in your life. You and your family, you and your children will never be prayed for the devil and be prayed for the power of darknesses. The mighty hand of God will keep preserving you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We are talking about... You know, why people causes of setback. And that time, last week, on Thursday, on sorry, on Wednesday, we spoke last about sinful life. 
That's what we're going to continue. That day we see that sinful life will quench the spirit of the Lord. Sinful life will make one to be unf unfruitful. Sinful life will rob one of his, of his peace and rob one of his joy. And a lot of other things that sinful life can do. Today, by the divine grace of God, I want you to hate sin, hate iniquity, hate unrighteousness, hate impurity. Sin is a sinker. Sin will so insult you, so degrade you, so make you, oh, oh, oh my God, da, 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 so confused. Sin so make you little, but righteousness will so magnify you and make you look great and mighty. Have you not seen some time you go, oh, is this that? man of God. Oh, is it the man of God? Oh, come on. Come on, come on. The honor will be given to you. They deserve. But when the sin is there, when the daughter of sin is there, oh, is it that the child of God? Is it that woman of God they are talking about? Oh, I, her messages have been helping me. I have heard the word of God through her mouth. I've heard much about that. Come on, what an honor. What an honor. What an honor. But when sin comes in, the person becomes so little. The person becomes reduced. The person becomes nobody. But when righteousness is there, and righteousness is also a nation, sin is a reproach to all people. So we are, to, we are in point six today about living a sinful life. Sinful life, a sinful lifestyle is another thing that causes setback. A lot of people are falling and cannot come out again. How can you live a sinful life? How can you live a sinful life? There are so many widows who are widows indeed. Since they lost their husband, they control themselves, they keep themselves, and God has been helping them and helping their family. But there are a lot of widows. The family is just a mess. Why? Because they go after this man, go after this man. A widow came to my office. I begin to tell her the lifestyle you are living is wrong. She told me, is it because she has a lover that she has found the love of her life? Since her husband died, she just found one man that this man is love. This man is everything. Oh, and the same man will come and stay in the house from morning to living in, eat morning food, eat afternoon food, and the children were uncomfortable. This is not her father. This is a grown adult she had in the house. But she doesn't mind because sin has blind her. The Bible said the devil has blind this world or the people of this world. According to 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse for sin is a blind that sin will blind the eyes of somebody in any way sin will blind your eye that you see yourself turning judgment may your eyes be opened right now so that you will not live under sin and unrighteousness in the name of jesus christ today we're talking about sin hinders fellowship with God or it breaks fellowship with God. Do you know that when you are a child of God, the one of the things that sustain you is the fellowship with the Father. Oh, when you come into his presence, you will sing, when I come into your presence, I'm so happy. When I come into your presence, I'm so glad. In your presence, there is anointing. As the Spirit moves around me, in your presence, anointing praise the yoke. While you are singing this song, God will be happy, heaven will be happy that you are in the presence of the Lord. That anointing is there and the glory of God that has been flowing, we keep on flowing and keep on moving because you are in the presence of the Lord. But the moment you come in, the fellowship will be broken. The fellowship will be broken. The fellowship will be broken. Oh my God. May the fellowship between you and the God never be broken in Jesus' name. So many children of God are no more having a free fellowship with the Father simply because they have committed a sin. Look at what the Bible said in the book of 1 John chapter 1 from verse number 3. 1 John chapter 1. We're going to read verse 3 and verse 6. 1 John, epistle of John chapter 1. We're reading verse 3. Epistle of John chapter 1. Epistle of John, we're talking about causes of setback. After hearing this message, you will never be set back again. If you have been set back, it will arrive. You will never be set back again in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. For unto the Lord be our glory. Oh, 1 John chapter 1 from verse number 3. 1 John chapter 1 verse 3. The Bible said, That which we have heard and seen, that which we have seen and heard, declare we unto you, that you also may have fellowship with us and truly our fellowship is with the father and with the son jesus christ oh what a sweet fellowship what a glorious fellowship what a good fellowship look at verses of the same john where we read epistle of john you know epistle of john
John chapter 1, we have read verse 3. Let's read verse 6. Let's read verse 6. Let's read verse 6. If we say that we have fellowship with him and walk in darkness, we lie and do not the truth. But if we walk in the light as he is the light, we have fellowship one with another. And the blood of Jesus Christ, his son, cleanses us from all sin. The blood of Jesus cleanses us from all sin. The Bible here says, if we say that we have fellowship with him and walk in darkness. You said, I love Jesus, but when it came to the point of really loving him, you are not loving him. You are not walking in darkness. When it's time to say the truth, you are not saying the truth. When it is time actually to show somebody love, you are not loving. When it's time to forgive, you are not forgiving. When it's time to control yourself and your anger, you are not controlling your anger. You're always on top. You're always offended. You're always fighting. You're always nagging. I know my right. Let me tell you. That's what I want to tell you. I know my right. You open your eyes so wide. Everybody has big eyes when it is open. Everybody has atom of madness, but there are people that have gone to a psychiatric of heaven. Their madness has been removed out of their life. They they don't have the madness anymore. They have the glory of God. They have the presence of God. They have the mercy of God. They have favor of God. They have goodness of the Lord. They have the miraculous hand of the Lord. What are we trying to say, children of God? What are we trying to say, blessedness of the Lord? Those things that make you to say, do you know who I am? Who are you? But a person that has been crucified will cry. You've been crucified. The life you're living is no more your own life. You're living a life of cry. You're living a life of purity. You're living a life of holiness and righteousness. You are living a life of cleanliness so you are no more your own you have been redeemed by the blood of jesus christ Oh, the precious blood of Jesus that redeemed every unrighteousness and iniquity. That is what has happened to you, child of God. Who, what are we trying to say? What we're saying right now is that when we have fellowship with him, we don't need to walk in darkness anymore. How can you go to a nightclub again after you have known Jesus Christ of Nazareth? How can you go to that party again after you have known Jesus Christ of Nazareth? The celebration of bad day that many born again children of God are implicating themselves, celebrating who is example of bad day you are celebrating is he not Herod that celebrated it was he not the first person and the only person that celebrated it in the scripture was Jesus not there that day did you see him celebrating one did you see Moses celebrating one did you see the apostle celebrating one why are we putting all this dirtiness upon ourselves all this you are celebrating what are their origin and how do they start when you are celebrating self pumping self elevating self and God will be there looking at you and say look at you. I didn't say, I didn't mean that, that you need them confess your sin and look into your life and know how useful and how useless you have been before the Lord and amend your way and go ahead. Any bad day is drop one. Minus one. You think it is additional, it is minus one. When we have, uh, you know, when we walk with the Lord in the light of His word, what a glory he shares on our way. Hey, when we walk with the Lord in a good fellowship, he shares glory on our way. When we walk in the, with the Lord in a very good way, in a good fellowship, light will be shining on our way. His glory will be shining on our way. As we're going, light will be there. Because we're walking in unrighteousness. Because we're not walking in iniquity. Because we're not walking in sin. Sin is one of the things that have been certain people back with. Sin is one of the things that have so be little people. Sin is one of the things that make people to be spiritually, physically, mentally bankrupt. I want you to run away from sin, hate sin, lying is a sin, fornication is a sin, adultery is a sin, fornication is a sin, abortion is a sin, anger is a sin, miser is a sin, uh, uh, you know, compromise is a sin. No matter where it is named for, sin will rob you of peace. It will rob you of your joy. And when you are no more having fellowship with the Lord, you begin to come down. When you go to God again, like Adam and Eve, they used to have fellowship with the Lord. Every evening, the mighty one will come, they will have fellowship, they will praise him, they will give him account of what they did throughout the day. One day the Lord was coming and they didn't see anybody again. The fellowship hall was empty, the gathering point was no more there, the altar was a stand one, and the father said, what has happened there? Adam, where are you? Are you coming late today? He said, no, I heard your voice, I ran away, because sin will make you a stranger to God. Sin will make you a stranger to holy things. Sin will make you a stranger 
set your righteousness. So, child of God, never play with sin. If God have delivered you from the grief of sin, if God have delivered you from the pangs of sin, you don't need to try it anymore. What gain do you get there? Is it not to lose your peace? Is it not to lose your mind? Is it not to lose your joy? And these are what the sin could do in the life of somebody. So, sin breaks fellowship. The Bible says, if we say that what we read in 1 John chapter 1 verse 6, if we say that we have fellowship with him and walk in darkness, we lie. That means sin will make you a liar and we do not the truth. Oh God, we do not the truth. Sin will make you not to come into the truth again. I don't know if your fellowship with God has broken. Yes, it broke that day you went to another goddess. That day you gave another goddess a gift. That day you went, you sent money to the village, and they did the one thing or the other thing. The fellowship had been broken. That day you beat your wife was the day the fellowship was broken. That day you were so smart on your husband, you did that thing, you denied him. That was the day the fellowship was broken. That day you refused to forgive was the day the fellowship was broken. That day God told you, do, do it this. You said, I will not do it that way. I'm going to do it with my own way. I'm going to do it in my thinking. I'm going to do it with my mentality. That was the day the fellowship had been broken. Broken. Adam and Eve, they broke a fellowship with the Lord and they saw the consequence, they suffered. But today the Lord Jesus has died for you on the cross of Calvary. And the Lord is saying, if you can come back again, we can have peace again. Now that you still have life, now that you are still breathing, why not come to God? Some people say, I used to be a born again. One time I was a Christian, I was a strong one, but something pulled me down. Now that you are still alive, I'm in the way. Now that you are still alive, come back to God. Since then you are falling, where are you? You may think you are making it in financially, but where is the peace and where is the joy? Where is the greatness of God in you? Where is the fulfillment? Without the marriage, you are not fulfilled. With the marriage you entered, you left that man, you left everything, and jump into that unbelieving marriage. Today, are you not the one that is suffering it? Were you not warned? Were you not told about it? And then what are you doing to yourself? Stay where you are in the Lord. You that is already in the Lord. Remain in the Lord. Remain strong in the Lord. Remain fervent in the Lord. Remain strengthened in the Lord. May the Lord strengthen you. A lot of wind is blowing. A lot of wind is blowing. A lot, a lot of people are falling off from their seats. A lot of people are falling down. We are just like in a tree and the mighty wind is blowing which is a fellowship of brethren. We need to hold one another. We need to help one another. And before you understand it, a lot of people are falling. They profess to be children of God but they are not in character. They are not in their action. They are not in their speech. They are not children of God in their association. Broken fellowship is one of the things that make people not to really continue with the Lord. Is a fellowship with the Lord still there? Do you remember in those days when you need that? In the three, four, five minutes, you have got, oh, you are switched over there. Baba, you are Ibrahim. You are speaking with the currency of heaven. You have been transferred over there. You begin to speak in tongues. You begin to move in the Lord. You begin to move with the Lord. But today, what is happening? Where is the grace of God still in your life? Child of God, I am not judging you. I am telling you what is obtained. A lot of us have quenched like fire. A lot of us are going down and that is why a lot of setback are coming. Ah, God has said I have placed you to so 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 place. With you, you are about to ask. I will use you mightily. I will use you greatly. I will use you this and this and that. The devil was one time having fellowship for the, with the Lord. He was one time Lucifer. He was one time the choir master in the fellowship time. He will be the one that will sing and control the choir of heaven. It was so glorious. He lost that position and God gave you that position and said, devil has fallen. You humanity, you brother, you sister, you'll be the one to fellowship with me and no more the devil. And devil said, ah, how can he fellowship with him? The position I got before, this is where I fall down from. No, I will not allow any man to have peace with this God. I will not allow any man. That is why when you worship God with grudges, he will not take the glory. When you worship him with unforgiveness, there, he will not take glory. When you worship the Lord with malice in your heart, he will not take it. When you bewitch your brother and say, it shall not be well with you, you have spoken evil with your mouth, you have not really washed yourself and confessed in the blood of Jesus of Nazareth, and then you still come forward to say one thing or the other thing in the name of fellowship. No, 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 no. I so much love that son that said, when we walk with the Lord in the light of his word, 
What a glory he shares on our way. Hey, when you have fellowship with the Lord, when you are in accord with the Lord, when you are in the right stand with the Lord, as I'm moving on, he will fly the glorious light. Every devil will clear from the way. Every revenous demon will clear. Every accident will disappear. Everything whatsoever will disappear your way. You will be going on this divine express road of Jehovah God because you are having fellowship with the Lord. The Bible here said in the book of Esther, where we read before, the Bible said that, that which we have seen and had declared we unto you, that you also may have fellowship with all. And truly, our fellowship is with the Father and with the Son and with Christ, the Son Christ. Oh my God. Are you having fellowship with the Father through Jesus Christ of Nazareth? That is what God is demanding from you. Those days when you need that and you pray, you seek the face of the Lord, you before understanding, you're busted in tongue, the mountain is there. But today, you are just like a dry wood. I bring you back to fellowship again. I bring you back to fellowship with God again. I bring you back to fellowship again. Do you know what the devil does? When he see that you're having a good fellowship with the Lord, he will allow situation, he will allow circumstances, he will allow problems, he will allow trouble to cover you, to be around about you, and your thought and ideas will be moving towards trouble and problem and no more towards the God of heaven and earth. In any way you have been deceived, in any way you have been tricked by the devil and by the power of darknesses, I pray that the mighty hand of restoration will restore you right now in Jesus' mighty name. So that is one thing sin will cause a broken fellowship. Do you have broken fellowship with the Lord? Let the God of heaven and earth restore the fellowship again so that we will have fellowship with the Lord. Oh, do you know what it means to have fellowship with the Lord? When you go to the presence of Jehovah, where you go and tap power, where you go and tap grace, where you go and tap unction, where you go and tap divine healing, where you go and tap great things and mighty things. Oh, my God. God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Let this fellowship be renewed again. Yeah, that day you committed fornication. Was that day? That day that man kissed you. Was the day it left? The fellowship was broken. But if you can say, God, I am back again. I am back again. I surrender. I surrender all. I surrender. I surrender all unto Jesus. Bless the Savior. I surrender, I surrender all. If you can surrender all right now, the God himself is ready. Look at the Father of the prodigal son. The son committed one thing or the other, was guilty, but said, I am guilty, but let me go back to God. The son came back and the father received him. Father is waiting for you. The Lord is waiting for you. That broken fellowship can be renewed again. Where is the prayer life again? Where is the evangelism life again? It is as a result of broken fellowship that you are no more doing all these things for the Lord. You are no more flying the way you are. The peace you have, the joy you have, the enthusiasm you have, the zeal you have. We are day today because the fellowship have been broken. The Lord is stretching for his son today. If you can say Lord, no, this broken fellowship could be this broken fellowship could be restored again. There will be that joy. There will be that peace in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And this God of honor, power, might, and majesty we hear you again. And you will hear the voice of God again. You will hear the voice of fellowship again. You will hear the voice of honor again. You will hear the voice of rejoicing again. And when you hear the voice of God, you hear the voice of directives. You hear the voice of direction. Because you were anoint and you become anoint beyond measure. You were anoint and you become anoint beyond measure. And that is why all these things are happening to you. If you can say, God, break my heart and remove this wickedness in me. Break my heart and remove this unbelief in me. God have said it. You read the Bible, you believe part, you don't believe part. Because you believe it is too difficult. How can this type of thing happen? It has been happening. God is able and well able to do it again. Can you believe God tonight? Can you believe God this time around? Can you believe God this day? And this God will show you favor mercy. And this God will show you his way out. There's always a way out child of God. There's always a way out. No matter what happened, no no matter what the devil has done, the mighty hand of God is telling you that there is a way out. 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 The fellowship could be renewed again. The fellowship could be, you know, conducted again. You and the Lord, we have that peace. You never know what joy is until you miss fellowship with the Lord. Are you going to church empty this time around? 
going to fellowship empty this time around? You know your peace and joy is not there because you have not made inner peace with the Lord. Can't you declare and get back to God? Can't you declare and tell yourself the truth? You know those things you do in secret that God doesn't like that be hindering the fellowship between you and the Lord. The fellowship I'm talking about is not being in the church and clapping your hand. No, 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 no. The fellowship I'm talking about is not being on Sunday service and then, you know, you sing, you pray. That's not what I'm talking about. The fellowship I'm talking about is the you and God, the peace of God, the joy of the Holy Spirit, the flow of the Holy Spirit. Look at what the Bible said. That Jacob said he saw the angel up and down. Is God moving up and down? Is glory moving up and down? Moving and coming in, transforming you, renewing you, giving you that peace and joy, giving you divine revelation, the gift of God manifesting your life. And then you are laughing and saying, I love this man of Galilee. He has done so very much for me. He has taken away my soul and sent the Holy Ghost to me. I love the man of Galilee. Have you been intoxicated again by the joy of salvation and the joy of having fellowship with the Father? That's an intoxicating joy to the glory of God. Another thing again, sin will you do? Remember we're talking about setback. Sin will you do in one's life not to only fellowship again, broken. Sin will cause unanswered prayers. Unanswered prayers. Sin will make pray somebody's prayer not to be heard. Sin will answer uh, cause unanswered prayers. Unanswered prayers. A lot of time you pray, sin will hinder it. Look at what the Bible say in Psalm 66 verse 18. In Psalm 66 verse 18. In Psalm 66 verse 18. In Psalm 66 verse 18, the Bible said, If I regard the iniquity in my heart, the Lord will not hear me. The Bible said, We pray and then don't get an answer because we ask our means. So, if I regard iniquity in my heart, the Lord will not hear me. If I regard unrighteousness, impurity, iniquity, said by in my heart, the Lord will not hear me. Have you seen it today? That when you are known, in the, when you are living in sin, your prayers are not on, on hard. If I regard iniquity in my heart, if I've committed a sin and I'm covering it, but I'm saying that covering the sin shall not prosper. You see to that, you pray and couldn't get an answer. Dr. Lilia Yeoman said, is an American, she said, if I pray and cannot get an answer, I begin to change because God cannot change. Child of God. Child of God. Beloved of the Lord, seed of righteousness. Can't we come back to him? Can't we have this fellowship again? Can't our prayers be heard? The Bible says, if each of heaven prayer of a righteous man have let much, where are these righteous men again? A feature of heaven prayer of a righteous man have let much. That Elijah was a man like God, he locked up heaven. Today we are preaching prosperity. Today we are preaching breakthrough. Hey, what a disappointment. Somebody could have been living in masturbation, living in fornication. He said, hey, I hate my ways of life. I don't like what I'm doing. I will start going to church. Let me know if God will show me mercy. And the person with the burden, he will go to church. And what the preacher will say, by next week you have a car. You will travel abroad. God will visit you. You will finish your house. You will be the new house. Oh, the sinner that was thirsty and went to the house of the Lord so as to look for a way out. Was made double a sinner. Double two times a sinner. He came back double sinner. He lived in a sinner. And begin to proclaim the blessings of the Lord in sin. He felt that that is the way of unrighteousness. That is the way it was supposed to be. No, that's not the way it's supposed to be. If I regard the iniquity in my heart, the Lord will not hear my prayer. People are thirsty, looking for where the truth to be preached. Thirsty, looking for where the word of God to be preached. But today, we have brandished everything. Oh, instead of telling a sinner to repent, we tell them, repackage yourself. Repackage yourself. Self cannot do it. If self can do it, if self had been doing it, Jesus wouldn't have shed his precious blood on the cross of Calvary. Child of God, child of God, child of God, you are supposed to be the mouthpiece of God. If you are in good time with the Lord, you must have a fellowship with the Lord in evangelism. You must tell other sinners, no, we are on our way. I've been saved. I want you to be saved. If you say you have fellowship with the Lord, when last did you speak to a sinner? When last did you tell a sinner your ways? 
are, are not the ways of the Lord. Repent now, for there is a danger ahead of all. If we can see the danger ahead, if we see what awaits every sinner, that sinner you are talking about, that unbeliever you are talking about, that person that is not born again, the moment she closes her eye, the moment he closes his eye, he is going to hell. He is going to destruction. He is going to a place of horror. He is going to a place of sorrow. He is going to a place of tears. He is going to a place of gnashing of teeth. And God has saved you to serve others. And look at the way you are doing it because you have gotten a broken fellowship with the Lord. Be restored this evening so that you have a good fellowship. So that when you need them to pray, we lack it in prayer today. That's what one great man of God said. He said in prayer today we lack it. Why do we lack it? Because we regard iniquity in our heart. We, we, we have not forgiven. Yes, we, ha we are still having lies. Yes, we are still having all this loss all over. And we call it guy. And we call it righteousness. We make it because we're a spiritual leader. Because we're a leader of this. Let me tell you. Every sinner's sin. Every leader's sin. Is a leading sin. I don't know where your sin is leading other people to. Leading them to destruction. Leading them to hellfire. And you're there bragging. That you're a righteous. A big man of God. There's nothing like a big man of God. Bible says we shall all appear before the Lord. We shall all appear before the mighty God. We shall all appear before this great king. Child of God, it's a high time we tell ourselves the truth. It's a high time we say, no, 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 no. My prayers must be heard. If I regard the iniquity in my heart, the Lord will not hear me. If I regard the iniquity in my heart, the Lord will not hear my prayer. That means I need to really be clean. I need to really be purified. I, I need to really listen to the word of God and word of righteousness. I really need... Oh, look at what the Bible said in the book of John chapter 9 verse 31. Look, even the Jews know it. Even the unbelieving Jews that didn't believe in Jesus. They know all this thing and they believe it. Look at how they spoke it. Now, John, John epistle of, no, gospel of John now. John chapter 9 verse 31. John chapter 9 verse 31. John chapter 9 verse 31. Now, we know that God heareth not sinners. But if any man be a worshiper of God and do it his way, him he heareth. God does not hear prayer of sinners. Child of God, there is no how you can mix up your prayer. Some are praying with you for, with candle. Some are praying with incense. Some are consulting many other gods. Even so-called men of God are consulting negative powers today. Before you meet the real genuine man of God who will lift up his hand and call upon the name of God of heaven, it becomes so rare. It becomes so scarred. Some people are going through water. You said you are a born again child of God and you are saying you are a prophet. They said they want to do some sacrifice in the water. That was the day you broke fellowship with the Lord. That was the day you started worshipping God of water. And that is why you continue seeing them manifesting in dream. But today, if you can genuinely repent, confess your sin, come back to God, another fellowship will start. You begin to see heaven. You begin to see glorious things. You begin to see beautiful things. You begin to see the excellence of God. You begin to see mighty and loving and great things of God. Hallelujah. So sin brings prayers. Prayer line. It is a line that has been there. It originated from you to God. But the moment you continue living in sin, your prayers will not be heard anymore. That is why you can preach and go to hell, but you cannot be an intercessor and go to hell. Why? Because when you pray and your prayers is not heard, you begin to think and think about it. God writes not my prayer heart. You begin to examine yourself and begin to search yourself. The Bible says, let us examine ourselves and know if we are still in faith. Child of God, are you still in faith in Christ Jesus? Child of God, are you still preaching Jesus in honor, in power, might, and majesty? If I regard iniquity in my heart, the Lord will not hear my prayers anymore. But may the Lord begin to hear our prayers in the name of Jesus Christ. Look at another thing that sin can cause again. Sin is not good at all. You see, it has broken fellowship already. It has made the prayers not to be heard again. Another thing that sin and unrighteousness can cause is that it breaks confidence and makes one to be ashamed. Sin breaks confidence and makes one to be ashamed. You know, when you live in unrighteousness, you don't have confidence in the Lord anymore. You don't have that confidence in the Lord anymore. You know, whenever you're praying, you know the God is not with you. You know Jehovah is no more with you because of broken confidence. Look at what the Bible said in the book of 1 John chapter 2, verse 28. 1 John chapter 2, verse 28. 
1 John chapter 2, verse 28. And now, little children, abide in him, that when he shall appear, we shall have confidence, and not be ashamed before him at his coming. When you are living in sin, you are no more expecting him. The confidence has been broken. You are no more waiting for him. You are not going with him again. You know when he comes, you will not go, because sin has taken over you. Sin has revised your will. Sin has revised your vehicle. You are going back to Egypt again. You were, your back was first in Egypt, but today your front is first in Egypt. First John chapter 2, verse 28. The Bible says, And now, little children, abide in him, that when he shall appear, we may have confidence and not be ashamed before him at his coming. How many of us are still expecting the coming of the Lord? How many of us are still preparing? Even if we are not preparing, even if we are not expecting his coming, we shall die one day. And when we die one day, where shall we spend eternity? Child of God, man of God, woman of God, prophetess, prophet, evangelist, apostle, teacher, all of us should awake. Pastor, let's awake. Let's awake and do the righteous thing. Let's awake and do the right thing. Let's awake and do the needful. For the righteousness of the Lord is a waste no man. The Lord is saying, if we can come back to him again, if we can repent, and then he will make us who we should be. Child of God, don't break that fellowship anymore. So that your prayers will no more be answered. Let God begin to hear your prayers again. And then the confidence will come again. I know who I am. Do you know when you have that confidence there, the devil will come. He said, no, the host rise against me. Even the demon, power of darkness rise against me. In this, I have confidence. You don't need to be afraid because the confidence is there. Many of us, our confidence is no more there. We know, we know, we know, we know. We are no more right with the Lord. The confidence is not there. But I'm praying tonight, let there be a restored confidence. Let there be a restored confidence. The shame should be removed over there. Do you know, or you know, that when rapture occurred, and you didn't rapture as a child of God, and I've been preaching the word of God, hey, you will live in great shame and shame and shame and shame and shame and shame. But I pray that let that shame be removed right now. You can shame the devil so that you will not be shamed on the last day. Confidence in him. Whenever you are living in sin, the confidence is not there again. If you shoot on your husband, when he's coming by, you look at him. Oh, your peace is gone. When you shoot on your wife, and then before understanding, the peace is gone. When you commit sin, the peace is gone. The confidence is not there again. There's an added my people used to say. That whenever lion breaks leg, antelope will come and remind him, Ah, you are owing me, give me the money you are owing me. But when lion is really lion, vibrant, no antelope crosses his way. Antelope will be one million miles away looking at the lion. And before the lion will make any move, the antelope will start running. But the moment the lion breaks legs and hands and could not do anything, antelope will come and nearer and say, Do you know you ate my child some time ago? You fought us some time ago. I am claiming all this thing. You must give it to me. Child of God, when you fell from the glory, when you fell from the standard, the devil will come and fight you. Power of darkness will come and fight you. But when you are still risen in him, when you are still elevated in him, when the glory is still there, when he come, he will see fire all over you. He will see glory all over you. And he will warn his demon and say, don't go near that man. Don't go near that woman. He's a man of fire. He's a power man of power. He's a man that's full of fire. Because of what? The glory of God is still covering you. Child of God, Sin remove the glory of God and put the glory of the world and put the glory of darknesses upon you. Can you begin to say, Lord, what glory am I wearing? Some people are wearing the glamour of the world. That's why they dress like the world and they're still children of God. They dress like the world. They dress like the demon. They dress like the power of darknesses and they still claim to be children of God. No, it is not done that way. Child of God, I am telling you that the only righteousness that will exalt a nation, sin is a reproach. Awake! Awake! Wake up right now. Many people will not awake until in hell. When you wake up in hell, it will be too disastrous. When you wake up in hell, you cannot take decision anymore. When you wake up in hell, it is so dangerous. When you wake up in hell, the final judgment has been made. When you wake up in hell, no more good. But when you wake up here now, you can amend your way. Can you wake yourself up? Can you tell yourself, wake up, wake up, wake up, stop sleeping, stop slumbering. Hey!
Why are we still sleeping in the midst of danger, in the midst of trouble and problem? May God help us to awake. May God help us to awake in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, so that we are not going to live with the power of devil and demon and darknesses anymore. May the mighty hand of God help us in Jesus' name. Every confidence we have lost again as a result of unrighteousness, impurity, and sin. May God show us mercy. Do you know the level of guilt sin will do in you? Avoid it. The level of guilt it will leave. You begin to say, mm. Mm. because you committed a sin. You committed a sin. The devil will be celebrated in their kingdom. This is what he says, he's the child of God. We have made him to tell lies. We have made him to give that bribe. We have made him to commit that fornication. We have made him to go for abortion. We have made him to do this or that. Chey! May the mighty hand of God make our conscience alive. Do you know some people are no more moved when they commit sin? Because their conscience is dead. I think you begin to say, God, let my conscience be alive. When you are a true child of God, and you fell into any sin, hey, the chastisement of the Lord, the chastisement of the Lord, the Lord will handle you, chastise you, you will not have peace, you will not have appetite when you want to eat food. Oh, the people, what will you eat? This food is so sweet, you put it in your mouth, the sweetness is not there, because everything in you has been paralyzed. But when you come to yourself, like David, when you come to yourself, like David, and you begin to pray, I say, May she Lord, Mercy Lord, mercy Lord, mercy Lord, mercy Lord, mercy Lord. The same God will show mercy in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I have a father, he will never, never fail. Hey! I have a savior that will never, never fail. Oh. Jesus is the rock, and he will never, never fail me. Rock of ages, we never, never fail. Do you know another thing that causes setback? Sicknesses. Do you know? Sicknesses. Do you know why? Sin causes sickness. Yes. Majority of the sin you people commit is as a result. Majority of sickness people suffer is as a result of sin. We've been praying for a lot of people. The doctor diagnosed, could not say anything. This is, it could not have, it could not, just an affliction. And the power of darkness said, yes, we afflicted him. Do you know what the Bible said in the book of Exodus? Yes. Chapter 15, verse 26. He said, if you diligently listen to me and do these things I commanded you, he said, I will not put in you any of the diseases I put upon the Egyptians. For I am the Lord, your healer. The Lord said he is our healer. Oh my God. If God is my healer, I need not to be sick. I need to believe him that he is my healer. Child of God. Whenever you have fallen from glory, sickness will come in. David had an experience. David has the experience of what we're talking about. I don't know if the joy and peace is still there. Is the joy and peace still there, child of God? Is the joy and peace still there, man of God? Do you see our boldness? Can you say, God, handle me according to the way I live? Are you saying that? Is that what you're promising heaven? Is that what you're talking to heaven about? Sickness. What is sickness that is bigger than this? Look at what David is saying in Psalm 8 verse 3. When he broke fellowship with the Lord, when his prayers was no more heard, oh my God, when the confidence was broken and he was ashamed, what happened again in Psalm 38 verse 3? In Psalm 38 verse 3, Psalm 38 verse 3, the Bible said, David was talking at 8 verse 3, There is no sadness in my flesh because of thy anger. The anger of the Lord. Whenever you quench the power of the Holy Spirit, you are attracting the anger of the Lord. The God is dealing with a lot of people. 
Oh, every born again is an ex sinner, not he that liveth in sin. He that is born of God does not commit sin. He that is born of God does not live in sin. The righteousness of the Lord is upon his life. Here yeah, the Bible said that. There is no sadness in my flesh because of thy anger. Neither is there any rest in my bones because of my sins. Hey, you see what sin can do? Sin will so go to an extent that there will be no rest. There will be no rest in your bone. There will be no rest anywhere in your life. There will be no rest in any part of your life. Sin will so trouble you. Sin will so disgrace you. Sin will so bring you low. There are a lot of people that when they were alive, they begin to kill people, kill people, destroy people. And by the time they will die, their mouth will be wide open and they will be shouting and confessing the sin and the unrighteousness, iniquity they have done. Even there was one that was confessing all he did in a very loud voice. The children covered his mouth, he fought them like that and the mouth was open. He was talking people he killed. Because of what? There was no peace inside them. You know, the Bible said there's no peace for a sinner. There's no peace for the wicked. Sin will not give you peace. But holiness and righteousness will give you peace. We're talking about setback. Living a sinful life. So how can you have peace when the fellowship is broken? Eh? How can you excel in life when God, the maker of life himself, the director of affairs of every human being, is not in peace with you? That's why a lot of people have money physically, but inside of them, they don't have peace. Inside of them, they don't have joy. Inside of them, they don't have health. Inside of them, they are suffering a lot of things. Double is a very bad one. There was a man, he was a very rich man. People admire his riches. Hey, this man was so rich a man. When you talk of hundreds of millions, he can bring them freely and give. What a great man. What a rich man he was. <laughs> But they never knew he was tied in bondage by the devil. He was living in sin, doing some ritualistic work. You can make a genuine money and then still be a child of God. And not involving yourself and tying yourself with the devil and power of darknesses. Do you know what happened? Every time they close shop, this man will be the last to go. Every time they close shop, this man will be the last to go. If they close the shop, he will tell the servant, the sales girl, everybody will go. He will lock himself inside the shop. He will go very, very late. And one day one of the sales girls said, what does our guy do here? Our master, what does he, what does he go late? They brought their goods that day. They packed and packed and packed it. He went, she went before they could go. She did as she shall pack and gone. Stealingly herself, trickily, she came in and hide very well so that nobody can see her. And as usual, the man closed up the shop again, lighting a light, and was there doing the incantation. The girl was afraid. The girl was so much afraid. Is that how they make their million? Is that why your guy is here? In the day he's a child of God. He goes to the church. They give him a front seat in the church. He was a knight in the church. When they talk about money, he will bring money and solve the problems of the church. But is this what he does? Do you know after saying the incantation, after binding people, he will bind, doing some, some demonic thing, incantation, and whatever he will do. After that, the man will pass a skater. That means he will pass stool there. After passing stool, he will get a bottle of coke, open the bottle of coke. He will drink the bottle of coke and use a spoon to carry his own steel sheet, his own escator. He begins to eat it. He, when he eat it, he will drink coke. When he eat it, he will drink coke. Devil is a bad devil. How can you go and eat your escator? How can you go and eat your stool? How can you go and eat your sheet? Che! The man was eating it, drinking coke. The girl shouted, hey! The man, you know, like, hey, 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 what are you seeing in the kingdom of darkness that made you to tarry there? Hmm? You are making a big name for the world. You are dressing fine for the world. 
the, 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 the sheep that is seven people. The sheep of salvation is still there, empty. And you are still struggling to make a space in the world that is already spoiled, defied, and polluted. And the Lord said, come, let me wash you afresh. And come in into the boat. He said, no. Are you having setbacks? Now the devil is dealing with you and power of darkness is dealing with you. What are you then saying to yourself? Is it not a high time for you to say, oh Lord, for how long will I be in this situation? God is calling you. Sin does not make you great. It makes you sick. Breaks your bone. Remove your peace. Shut out the marriage. That little sin, when you're committing sin, it looks sweet. But look, let me tell you, it is in your hand to commit sin. But it is in the hand of another to punish. When Cain killed his brother, the Lord told Gavin, his punishment, he said, is it because of this little sin I committed? He did this. When he was committing, he never knew a punishment is coming. A punishment is coming. Somebody was asking me this evening. He said, let's see this from a take point of view. Can God, a loving father, is it just fireable, a loving father to throw his son into hell? I say, yes. When you have a son that is a thief, you have a son that is disturbing, you have a son that smokes marijuana, you have a son that carries gun, it, you, you yourself, you have a son that is gracious to name everywhere and there. You yourself will be praying, let the son be imprisoned. If he can change in prison yard. Yes. If government of this world have where they keep people, even killing people that are torturing them or doing anything contrary, how much more a holy God? The, I, the, the, the argument there was, after all, we didn't ask God to create us. Yes, that child you brought into the world, did, you, did, did the child actually bring me into the world? Is it not you and your wife that get together and then the child came forth? Are you not the one that brought the child? That's exactly the way it is. God said, let me create man in my own image, after my own likeness. Who will be like me? But man came forth and saw the evil part and began to do the evil. More than the righteous. Child of God. Hate sin. Hate unrighteousness. You cannot do it by your power. It's only through the power of Jesus of Nazareth. If you can say, Lord, I'm sorry I am a sinner. I cannot help myself. We're talking about setback. You have gotten setback, 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 setback. A lot of things are responsible. Living a sinful life. Living, having a simple lifestyle. Every time you are committing a sin, every time you are in sin, every time you are confessing, you say we are like fish in the water. We cannot deny sin. Who told you that? God is saying, can you repent? God is saying, can you come back to me? Can you start afraid? Can you come back to me? And then I will renew you, wash you, and make you great and you shine again. To the glory of God's holiness. God of holiness and righteousness is still real. His name is Aya Abu His name is Jesus. His name is Lord. He came and walked through the planet Earth without committing sin. He can give you grace to live above sin. May Christ's name be glorified in Jesus' name. And what again are we trying to say? Look at another thing sin will do to you. Whenever sin have chosen to set somebody back, you will set the person back and back and back and back. The person will not even be number four or five or ten. He will be the last of last. Sin will make somebody to be backwards and awkward. That's the thing of sin. You see, when sin blinds the eyes of people, you see them dressed on the road. It's, ah, how can this educated person, intelligent person from a wealthy family, how can this rich man, rich woman, dressed like this, sin has blinded him or her? He doesn't know what he's doing again. He doesn't know where he's going again. But today, as we talk about sin and unrighteousness, God will give us mission. In the name of Jesus Christ. Look at what the Bible said. Look at what the Bible said in the book of Numbers chapter 32, verse 23. 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 But if you will not do so, behold, you have sinned against the Lord, and be sure your sin will find you out. Your sin will find you out. Let me tell you. Don't let your sin find you out right now, uh, in eternity. Find your sin out now. If you find your sin out now, your sin will no more find you out in eternity. Every sin you commit, you have a tag. If you commit fornication, the person will be given tag of fornication. You commit hatred, you will have tag of hatred. He commit lie, you will have tag of lie. All over, 
Tag, 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 tag of different sins. But the blood of Jesus can cleanse you from all these things. These are the setbacks we are talking about. Somebody has been calling me overseas. Pray, 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 pray. I'm in pain. I'll pray, pray, pray. One day I was asking, what are you doing? What kind of job are you doing? He said, you know, I am doing what other people are doing. When you go to Romans, we have like a Roman. We are doing, the, uh, uh, you know, Yahoo, Yahoo business here. We are dealing on drugs. We are dealing on this and this just for us to make money. I know I am God of the Lord. I am God of the Lord. Uh, the, uh, 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 when I make money now, I need to buy the instrument to do all these things. Uh, and then, you know, let God help me. As I make money now, I'll go and answer the call of God. Shame! You that come to ministry with uh, nonsense money. You that came to ministry with bloody money. Shame unto you. You that give it God evil money. Shame unto you. You that give it God money you got from prostitution. Shame unto you. You that give it God money you get from 419. Shame unto you. You that have been building the house of the Lord. Sponsoring men of God. God, with money you got in Yahoo Yahoo, with money you got in ritualistic, with money you got in killing, you with the bloody money. Shame unto you. And you that collect such evil money, you that handle such bloody money, shame unto you. Shame unto Satan. May you repent and come back to God. We're talking about setback. You're supposed to be the light, but look at you today. You're supposed to be the first, but look at you today. These are causes setbacks. If today you can say, Lord, mercy. I look into myself. I saw a lifestyle I've been living. Since I got born again, this particular sin has been easily besetting me. Maybe born again five years ago, ten years ago, fifteen years ago, twenty years ago, thirty years ago, forty years ago, for five, fifty, sixty, seventy years ago. But one particular sin has been tying you down. That particular sin is too much to take you to hell. Is it not time for every child of God? Is it not time to say, I cannot go back anymore? I am made to move ahead, forward ever and backward never. But sin, tell me I can turn back. No. No, I cannot turn back. I will not obey. They came and said, let's have our leader and go back to Egypt. Do you know how far you have gone? You have gone far away with the Lord. Forget about those that prosper in their own way. Forget about those that have made their money. After making their money, where are they? Have you not had the north and the north? A mighty man that make money. Today, where are they? Where are they? They made the money and they, 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 the devil, the devil give the money, sinful money, bloody money, ritualistic money. They made their name. And today, where are they? We shall all die, but let's die with a good name. We shall all die, but let's know where we're going. We shall all die, may we make heaven. Righteousness is also a natural sin is a reproach. Child of God, repent from all, us, all unrighteousness. Repent from every iniquity and God will show you mercy. We're talking about setback. Sinful lifestyle. Sinful lifestyle had made a lot of people to be there. Hey, no. This thing you see me robbing. All these things I robbed. I went to my friend out. They were doing it. I don't know what to do. Mm, I robbed it and I robbed it. I did this, I did that. Shame unto you. You, you're wearing a naked dress, and then you say my friends are wearing it. They're teaching me. Don't you know the Bible says evil communication corrupt good manners. Who is a friend? If he's not a child of God, then you're doomed. Change your friends. Tell me your friend, and I'll tell you your character. Tell me your friend, I'll tell you who you are. One must an unbeliever be your best friend, and your advisor. Does he know the word of God? May you repent now. The salvation ship is still there. It might not be there always. If you die now, it is no more there for you. But now that you are still alive, Britain, you can come back. You can say, Lord Jesus, I get back to this ship. I get back to salvation point. I get back to repentance point. I've been duping people. I've been telling lies. I call myself a man of God. But I know where my power came from. I know I've been deceiving people. I know what I consult. I know when I call Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I know who I call. I know I don't mean it. You have so deceived people. Even some of them, you deceive are dead. But God is still saying, can you still repent? 
Can you still come back to me? I am able to do it. Shall we begin to pray? Mashara Makundana. Can you begin to say, God, I know sin has been a master to me. I've been a slave of sin. No wonder I've been having said by. I will lay my hand on this. It will not work. Lay hand on this. It will not work. I spiritually, I am bankrupt. The people have started the rest before I shining and blowing off. But look at me. My light is off every time. Look at me. I'm complaining every time. Look at me. I'm borrowing money every time to start afresh. No. I cannot continue. This setback will end up today. What lifestyle do I have? Why should I live in sin and unrighteousness? When I have a true God, when a Savior has died on the cross and shed his precious blood and the blood of Jesus has cleansed me from every unrighteousness, then why should I continue this lifestyle of evil? Why should I continue with this lifestyle of iniquity? No. I will amend my ways. Sit back. Sit back. Sit back. Show me mercy, Lord. God, show me mercy. And let thy name alone be glorified. Praise and worship. Can you begin to say, Lord, what is the lifestyle I'm living that you never like? What is the lifestyle that I'm living that is provocation to you? What is the lifestyle that I'm, that I'm living that you hate so much? Give me grace and abundant grace to live beyond it. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus. Can you say after me, maybe you want to receive Jesus? You're tired of sin. You don't want to continue in it anymore. No matter how little it is, it has been weighing you down. It has been sapping your peace and joy. The revelation you're supposed to be having of heaven and God and glorious things and revelation of your future, they are all stopped because of sin. Is it not a high time to repent and repent again? Say after me, say, Lord Jesus, I'm sorry. I've provoked you again and again. I am sorry. I am a sinner. I am sorry. I have a besetting sin. Forgive me, Lord. Tell God what that besetting sin is now. Tell him that sin that you call you hook you every time. That sin that always, you say you will not do it, you fall into it again and again. That sin that makes you his victim. Can you talk to God about it? But Sherry Baba, ba, I see a rope on the neck of somebody. That's the neck of sin, and they tied the neck tightly. Can you begin to say, Lord, loose me? That they loose me. Jesus, loose me. I want to remove my rope from in my head from this rope of sin. Look at the way I am tied. Look at my hand bound. Lord, loose my hand, loose my neck. They, 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 it cannot continue. The devil cannot pull me to hell. It cannot draw me to hell continuously. No. No. When we walk with the Lord in the light of his word, what a glory he shares on our way. Hey, what a burden we bear. My sherry, my mama, mama. Say, Lord Jesus, show me mercy. Forgive me every sin. As you mention the sin, may the Lord forgive you. Cleanse you and purify you. And let the blood of Jesus cleanse you from every unrighteousness. Cleanse me, cleanse you in the name of Jesus. Amen. From today onwards, the righteousness of Jesus is declared on you. May you never continue in sin. You would have been a child of God for years. Let the blood of Jesus wash you. Renew and transform you. Mashiri Baba Lara. Somebody's listening to me. The Lord said, stop going backwards. Start your ministry. God has given a particular ministry in your hand. He could be minister of help. He could be minister of evangelism. He could be minister of visiting the hospital and visiting the sick people and praying for them. God said, it's time for you to start your ministry. Start up, my beloved. Start up. Daughter of Zion. Start off. Seed of righteousness. Start off. God wants you to start off. And he will back you up and he will help you. Thank you, Lord. God be glorified. The blessedness of the Lord upon you as you have amended your ways today in Jesus' name. Every sickness caused by sin or caused by anything, I bind the sickness to get out of you. 
Let it get out of your spirit, get out of your soul, get out of your body. Let the righteousness of Jesus comfort your way. Let the gloriousness of Jesus comfort your way. Let the purity power of Jesus comfort your way. Let the power of his dignified excellence comfort your way. By the mind and power and authorities of Jesus, every manner of sickness, get out. Your body is stainless. Your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. Devil has no right over you. I pray for a new house. May you have divine inspiration right now. You've been asking God for something. You've been asking God for divine direction. May God give you a new direction from this moment. Somebody is asking God for divine direction. You're just confused. You don't know what to do. And you don't want to take that decision of yourself. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God, God directs you. Holy Ghost, listen to her, listen to him. Give her, give him a direct divine direction now. In the mighty name of Jesus. May you have these divine directives. And walk in the power of the Lord and in the power of his glory. And let Christ then be honored in you. I cover you again in the blood of Jesus. As his great grace walk upon you. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. May peace follow you. May you that have not been sleeping fine. Sleep fine this night. Sleep gloriously to the glory of God tonight. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. God be honored at God. God be magnified. Peace of God over your life. Peace of God over your marriage. Let your marriage be sweet again. No more sour. Let your marriage be sweet again. And let Christ's name be honored. Thank you, Father. I praise and bless you, Daddy. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. We give God the praise. You see how much he loves you. You know, when God is hitting us, shouting on us, scolding us about sin, you see he will swallow us. But when we melt and confess and repent, he still renew us again and make us his own children. Child of God, make righteousness a standard. Make righteousness a way of life. Stop hiding to commit anything. Stop all this hiding to commit yourself. Stop going for certain. You fail that exam. You go and sort for it. It will take it. Are you hearing me? God bless you. Keep you. Until we speak again. Feel free to drop your comment in our WhatsApp. Remember, our WhatsApp is there. Plus 234-8035-804-804. So feel free to drop your messages, your comment in WhatsApp. God, the Most High, will see you through. Christ be honored forevermore. In the name of Jesus. Remain favored until we meet again by next tomorrow, Wednesday. Remember the program that is coming up. The program of Jamal. Yes. Complete Holiness. Yes, I told you their program is on. It's even as I'm preaching right now. The program is on. My wife will be preaching on Thursday. So I put it in our Facebook page. May God help you. I should get to it and listen more to the word of God. I'll see you on Wednesday. And Christ then be honored. Keep praying for us as we keep praying for you. May we have this sweet fellowship. Is our fellowship broken? Today is restored with the Lord. No more broken fellowship. It renewed the restored fellowship with Jehovah. In Jesus' name. You cannot pray in the spirit. You cannot flow in the spirit. For God is in charge. To him be every glory. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And amen. God will keep you more. Thank you, Lord. Bless you. Until we meet again.